Tesco is a very interesting company. Tesco is one of the least liked companies, retailers in this country. People, every time I ask, they say, who here dislikes Tesco? Lots of people raise their hand. And do you know how we show our dislike for Tesco? We shop there. <laughs> it's an interesting approach, I admit, but that's what we do, don't we? Until this year, when Jamie taught us how to cook and we float over to Sainsbury's to get just those ingredients, and we go back to Tesco for all the basics. <laughs> Must be tough being Asda. Um, it's a very interesting thing, but what makes Tesco effective is that they're efficient, full stop. You don't expect a hug from Tesco's. And even though Walmart in the US has done the most weird thing, if, if you, I mean, Americans generally do odd things, but specifically in the Midwest, if you walk into a Walmart, there's somebody called a greeter at the front door. And you have to be careful because they'll hug you, and it's dangerous. Luckily, they're very, generally very old, so they don't move quickly, so you're OK. <laughs> you got to go around them. But the notion, I don't want a hug from Walmart. I hate Walmart. That's why I shop there. It's ridiculous. So companies have a type of competency. And it makes sense that a supermarket's competency would be efficiency, because at the end of the day, we, we are economically rational, and we buy on price largely. If the selection is equal, we'll pay the better price, and we should. And the third type of company is one that actually doesn't have the best prices and may or may not have the newest product. But we go there because we know that we will be loved. Or to be more precise, we go there for the sense of security we receive in the purchase. And I'll give you an example of that, John Lewis. John Lewis has a brand that is quite outsized compared to its actually innovation. It is a loved company, and I think rightly so. The quality of service has been shown over and over again to be slightly better than everyone else in this country on the high street. Fair enough. Companies have personalities. They have competencies. And so you can decide what competency a company has. Apple has product competency. They can manufacture desire. But sometimes the desire fills a need we don't know. But you don't produce the need. 